Welcome to the Air Hogs Hangar. Today we are going to learn how to fly the jet set. You should have one jet set, one controller that doubles as a charger, and one set of extra propellers. To get started, always make sure your plane has batteries and is fully charged. To do this, open the battery door on the back of the controller and install six new AA batteries. It's very important to charge your jet before flying to get maximum power and control. To charge, first switch your jet off, then move the charge switch to charge. Locate the charge plug on the controller, then insert the charge plug of the controller into the jet. The charging LED will start to flash. Once charged fully, both power and charge indicators will flash concurrently. You are ready to fly. When flying your jet, make sure you are outdoors. You are flying on mild sunny days away from rain or snow, and you are not flying in strong winds which could overpower your plane. To get started, turn the switch on the controller to on, which should make the power indicator on the charger light up. Also fully extend your antenna on the controller, and then turn your jet on. When launching, hold the jet in one hand with the controller in the other. Gently push the throttle up to get the propellers going. Then launch your jet parallel to the ground and into the wind. The throttle stick on the left controls the up-down movement, and the direction stick on the right controls the left-right movement. To get your jet to climb, move the throttle stick forward. Start slowly at first, then as you get more comfortable, you can experiment with putting more weight on the stick. To fly left, move the direction stick to the left. To fly right, move the direction stick to the right. To land, select a soft grassy area and pull the throttle stick down gently until you hit land. Here are some flying tips. Do not look at the controller, but focus on the plane. Use very small movements with the throttle. If the plane is going too high or low, slowly and gently move the throttle down or up. For turning, do the same thing. Very gently move the direction stick in the direction you want the plane to move. Keep the movement small. If your plane keeps turning to the right, try trimming it. Turn the trim knob in the opposite direction to the left. If your plane keeps turning to the left, turn the trim knob in the opposite direction to the right. Some common problems you may face while flying are the following. Your plane may not start or has lost power. Try charging your jet again and follow all instructions. Or, if it's been 8 to 10 flights, you may want to try replacing your batteries. If your jet won't turn left or right, make sure your controller is on. And the antenna is up all the way. Also check the wind. It may be too windy for you to control your jet's direction. If your jet is flying too low, chances are you either need to give more power to the throttle, you need to recharge your plane, or as a last resort, your charger may need new batteries. Lastly, if your propellers come off during a flight, simply take your replacement rotors and snap back on. If you are still experiencing issues, please call customer care at 1-800-622-8339.